To solve an absolute value equation, we begin by isolating the absolute value. In our case, because we have negative two times the absolute value of the quantity x minus three equals negative eight, we begin by dividing both sides by negative two. Simplifying, we now have the absolute value of the quantity x minus three equals four. Recall the absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero, and the distance is always positive. Because we have the absolute value of the quantity x minus three equals four, and the absolute value of positive four, as well as the absolute value of negative four, both equal four, because both four and negative four are four units from zero, the expression inside the absolute value of x minus three can equal four or negative four, indicating we will have two solutions, where again, x minus three can equal four, or x minus three can equal negative four. And now we solve both of these equations by adding three to both sides, which gives us x equals seven from the first equation, or from the second equation, we have x equals negative one. We can verify these results by graphing y equals the left side of the equation and y equals the right side of the equation on the coordinate plane and looking for the x-coordinates of the points of intersection. Here's the resulting graph. Note on the left, we have x equals negative one. On the right, we have x equals seven. Again, verifying, we have two solutions. I hope you found this helpful.